Hey guys, it's Ivory, I'm back with another part of Final Fantasy VI, and I'm on a bridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, I decided to skip ahead just a little. You have to go to the east side of that island to go forward. Uh, I did notice while I was uh, perusing the ability section that I have a new uh, blitz with Sabin that I didn't know I had, which is this one here, the Raging Phoenix. Which you should be careful of when using against certain enemies that are resistant to fire, because that is fire elemental. It's not. It's not uh, just physical. Now we want to head east here, uh, towards the town up here, which you will probably not see on the map very well, but it is up here. It's all the way up here. Quite the long distance up here. It's it's a little out of the way, yes. I believe there's something in that forest. Something tells me there is. All the way up here. All the way up here. Okay. Suggestion before you go in here. Make sure to heal up. Make sure of it. Don't make the same mistake I did on my test run. And get completely screwed over because you forgot to heal up. And forgot about what's going to happen here. Also. Uh, if you feel like that you're not very confident in your... Uh, ability to take damage, make sure, absolutely sure, that you put everyone in the back row so that physical attacks don't hurt you as much. It halves physical damage compared to front row, that is. Now, I believe there's things around this ha this town that you can pick up, which I'll probably do off camera, have a look around, see if there is anything, but I'm not too sure on that. You're going to have to fight your way in here. Right. You're a kid, I have swords. You'll be dead before you even raised your dudes. Kids, crikey. Oh, hi there. Now, you notice there that he called her mama. I like how nobody in specific is actually talking to her, even though it's pretty obvious you can only have two characters at this point. Uh, where am I going? Let's talk to Terra, find out what happened. Well, I know what happened, I'll explain quickly. The town here was hit by the Light of Judgment, and, well, actually, she just explained it in two lines there. <laughs> the Light of Judgment hit the town, the parents tried to protect the kids, the parents died, the kids were left alone. Yeah. Very emotional scene. But not really. Ah, fuck off. Who asked you? Man, that sprite there's got some big eyes on her. Very big eyes. Okay, there is another character that's lost the will to fight. Well, well with him it's actually a case of uh, not lost the will to fight. Just needs a reason to fight due to losing... You know, something. I won't tell you what it is. We'll wait until we get there. It should be... Uh, it should be... The person we meet after the next one. Right, this battle can be tough. You know, I'm just going to say that now. You can't do damage with Terra here, by the way. Just, you might as well do nothing, but I'm, I'm just gonna hit him. Oof, infuriate me. Eat my fists. That's a good thing I healed up before this, because this guy can hit hard. He's a lightning elemental as well, so, as you can tell. Oh, he had Thunder Rush. Huh, before he was using, he used Thunder Rush the first time I used it. 
let's do this. Now the proper battle starts. Runic in with uh, Celis is a very good idea during this battle because he can hit you with a Thunder Ogre which hits you for around 1500 damage. And if you get hit by that, you're going down. No matter who hits, who it hits, it's that character's going down. Conveniently timed, isn't it? <laughs> Luckily, he only used the Thunder Rather. Okay, get the feeling I missed the input there. Shit. Alright, put heal. Eat my raging fist. Also, if I might make a suggestion, try not to use uh, Rising Phoenix if you if you want to use that. Because it doesn't seem to do as much damage as Raging Fist does. It only did 300 in my test run. Runic right there. Thanks for the 53. Runic it up again, just in case. Because none of the bosses in this game, they tend to hit you twice with what you don't need. And looking at that guy, that is one fat bastard. You used to use that, didn't you? Right, hopefully I can get save enough and he doesn't keep hitting him like what happened last time where Celeste went down trying to revive her she just would not stay on her feet because this guy kept hitting her come on come on come on come on, come on. high potion will do for now just oh there we go God, I love that ability. I barely use it, but it is incredibly helpful in battles like this. I'm not even kidding. Right, I think Terra does eventually enter this battle after you've done a certain amount of damage to it. The problem is, is that I don't have any idea how much HP you have to take off this thing to, you know, get Terra down at the battle. But I get the feeling it's soon. Ready to go up. Okay, didn't do didn't do magic, which I would actually prefer if it didn't do magic anymore because it the magic doesn't leave me much. Uh, absorbing the magic really doesn't give me much time to heal and do extra damage. To be fairly honest, though, I prefer Thunder Ra over Thunder Agar because. He always uses Thunder Agar on a single target, and that really messes you up. Hopefully, no Thousand Needles either. Ah, oh, you had to set you you did you did it right right after I mentioned it. You have to do it, you dick. And I'm running out of Phoenix Downs. Well, I probably should have brought more at the other place. I don't think this place is necessary to go to. But I want to do this anyway, just because it's here, you know? Now, it's a good thing I put them both in the back row. Cure them both up. Come on, Terra, end the battle, you're supposed to. Or at least, I think you're supposed to. It might be the other one I'm thinking of. God damn it! I didn't do as much as I thought it would. It was doing 15k, before, uh, 1500 before. And this way, he's going to constantly knock her down, and I'm not going to be able to heal them up, and I'm going to have to start this video up all over again. Oh, maybe not. I might get lucky. You can't actually. I think I mentioned it, but I'm going to say it again if I did. You cannot win this battle. You cannot. It is impossible. Well, at this point in the game, it is anyway. You do. You need to wait until later to beat this guy. When when you've got a full party, you've got, you've got your airship back, then you can beat this thing. Whew. That's lucky. I think you need to do about 10,000 damage, and considering the amount of uh, times I've hit this guy with Raging Fist at 500 damage, it shouldn't be too many more goes before he leaves. 
Hopefully, anyway. Just hope that. Oh, god damn it. Well, I just gotta hope this is it, though. There we go. Okay, he's out of here. You don't gain anything from that battle either, but it's a good thing to do. I think you have to do that before you could. Oh, obviously, it's the next battle that Terra comes in. Mama, are you okay? Hmm. Okay, that's completely fair enough. Now we move on. Oh yeah, you get that. Fenrir. Let's see what's on that before I revive Terra. Uh, not Terra, Celis. Teleport, banish, stop. MP plus 30%. Um, probably not something I'm going to use. It doesn't seem all that helpful to me. I mean, banish could be helpful against some enemy monsters, but that's it. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, I was going to check around the town, wasn't I? Let's have a look at you around. Because towns like this usually have something I can steal. Yes, I want to steal stuff from a downtrodden town that is on the brink of it was on the brink of destruction. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. I really don't care. There's a bed here. Okay, I must remind myself that in the next town to buy some items because I don't want to be getting screwed over again like I was here, almost by the lack of Phoenix Downs. That house, that house is in the water. What if I can slip into the back of that? Nope. Okay, moving on. Now I'm gonna uh, save some time by moving to the next town of my own. Revive Celeste, of course, first because. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some some uh, Phoenix Downs now. So I'm going to skip to the next town, uh, so you don't have to watch me cross this landscape. It's essentially on this island in a line, so you don't have to worry about me telling you where it is. Uh, so I'll be there when I'm there. I thought I'd make quick mention of this while I'm here, actually. It's, the tower you see there is uh, the Tower of Kefka. Uh, not the Tower of Kefka. I think it's the Tower of Kefka, actually. You can only get there by airship. There is no way through through any of these mountains. You have to get there by airship. And uh, there is a party member there as well, under hypnosis or something. Uh, this is halfway there to where the next town is, or about two thirds, I'd say. And there's been a lot of battles, and Saban's an imp. <laughs> and kind of KO'd, and I have no more items to heal him. Because I can't remember if uh, tents do heal KO party members, and I'd rather not uh, risk it. Anyway, continuing on. After the many, many, many battles with the impossibly high. Uh, Ooh, hello, what's this? See if I'm not, not long before you guys snuck in here. There's no way no one is still alive, but if you find them, I know they would have the Four espers. Interesting, interesting. Right, uh yeah, as I was saying, impossibly high encounter rate seems to be in this town. Oh fucking get out of the way! Oh, I hate the NPCs in this game, they always seem to get in the way and it's really frustrating. Right, a bit of healing because I was running low, then I need to do some item shopping because, frankly, the, the little items I have at the moment and neither of these two having rays at the moment, uh, although I'm learning that, I'm slowly learning. I should probably check how far that's getting, actually. 45%, uh, okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're getting there, we're getting there. I seem to be repeating myself. I seem to be repeating myself. What? Right, let's buy some Phoenix Dance. Um, might as well buy another two tents or so, and let's see if there's any new weapons available. <sighs> More NPCs getting in the way. Rune blade, have one of them, have one of them, have one of them. Oh, they got Hanser. Now this one's a useful thing to buy, because it also boosts your magic, which with Celis is a very good thing. And I'm also going to put the blood sword on anyway because I'm sick of seeing the fucking flame tongue. Now let's see if there's any new armor. Get out the way! Oh yeah, the diamond vest. I forgot about this. Let's see if there's anything I can sell to make room for that because I really would like it. 
got a mythical spear there I could sell. That's probably not going to get me far though. Boomerang. Flame tongue. Four plumes hats. Very helpful. A twist headband. Kenpo Gi. Ninja gear. While I think that's enough, I still want to keep going. Get rid of some extra stuff. I've always found I only need one of them, and those things were driving me nuts at that auction house, as you probably tell from the other video's, you know, name. Now, the good thing about relics in this game is that they are very widely stolen from enemies. Like, you can steal them from a lot of different enemies. Oh, wait, what was that say? Oh, didn't actually notice that. I also have 32 of these, it seems. Huh. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, they all, they, and they also seem to give you a hell of a lot of money for them. So you can... That is probably why... Oh, god damn it! what the hell? Yeah, I seem to... I always, uh... I would buy that, but I've got Genji gloves on. There's really no point. Yeah, uh... Let's see, golden armor... I'm in best. There we're talking. That's gotta be heavy, though. That has gotta be heavy. Let's see, you're pretty impressive that kid like me can uh, buy something to encourage me. That depends what you got. Gale hairpin. Haven't got one of them. May just. Since I now have the money. Oh, yeah, I forgot to relic up saving. Might as well. Uh, see what they are. Let's see. Mythical glove. Gale hairpin. Increases the frequency of preemptive strikes. That's not too bad. And Zephyr cloak. Boost evasion and magic evasion. Helpful. I'm going to put that on. Now I don't see much. Prevents. Prevents. Imp and silence. Also gives me 5 plus defense, magic defense, and plus 10 magic evasion. Fuck yeah, I'm putting that on. Never actually noticed that before. And he was getting imped a lot out there, so it would be helpful. Right. Thieves. Let's see. The boss wants to sneak into the ca into Figaro Castle to take back our booty. Is there babes down there? <laughs> kind of handsome tee hee. Right. <sighs> Fees are getting in the way. See NPCs getting in the way, very frustrating. Now, where we need to be is the inn. And we need to go upstairs of the inn. It's doing it again. Get the fuck out of the way. I hate NPCs. Up the stairs. No. No, that's not the way. This way. Okay. Okay, I've completely forgotten where he is now. <laughs> but the person I need to talk to is in this town. And he's very unique looking, so you'll spot him a mile away. Not oh, obviously where he is. Possibly, I think, anyway. No, that. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting down bloody stairs now. Okay, I'm confused. He is in this town, but I can't seem to find him. And this is wasting time. Tom, I don't think you appreciate me wasting. Let's see, we lost our old boss that day. He's feeding the sandworms now. We can actually... This town here, he's on a boss. Store him back. Have some free chance to learn. crack open the walls. We crawl through and follow the worm tunnels to the surface. We're gonna go into the castle in a secret cave that nobody knows about. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, that's the one I wanted to talk to. Right, he'll lead me where I need to go. It's amazing. You talk to everyone but the guy you need to talk to. Now I think I need to go to the inn. Ah, oh, there he is. Move out of the way. Hello. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes, you'd think so. Now he moves off on his own. See, the NPCs are even getting in his way. Yes. <laughs> right. For the record, yes, that is a gut. Yes, he has not lost his memory. He's just using these guys. But you'll find that out in time. Now then, we do a little sneaky sneaky. Very good jump, and we're on the ship. And we're following him. Now, obviously, by talk of Figaro Castle, we are eventually going to hit Figaro Castle. I think that would be pretty obvious. You'll also notice that if you look at the world map down there, that the world has sort of split up. It's not the one big island at the top, one big island at the bottom, little island at the top right, malarkey. You do get the uh, the whole. You get where I'm going with that. You, it's been split up almost as it, almost like uh, our Earth did back in the day, or so scientists believe. Now, uh, as you can probably tell, they've disappeared. Hello, what's going on here? Right, right, whatever. I'm gonna have a look around. This place seems familiar somehow. All too familiar. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again. Yes, very familiar. Hmm. Let's have a look in the weapon shop, see if they've got anything. I would like to give something to. Oh, heavy lance, I haven't got one of them. Golden Lance. Screw it, I'll buy the Golden Lance. Well, you can tell that Mog also equips spears, but Mog isn't going to be used very often, I don't think. Maybe... I don't know. There's a, go there's a diamond armor there. You seem a little bit short on gill. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I can sell. Because I would like that to equip to one of my other characters when I get to him. Um... I have a massive amount of ethers. I could use them. Three of them? Three of them. And then I can buy that. Bada bing. For now, I'm just going to keep uh, Celis with the vest. I'll give the armor to someone else when I get them. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Now, this place is seeming very, very, very familiar to me. Oh, yes, I remember Locke's scenario. Now, I need to find the inn, because I think what I was thinking before is actually here. I got it mixed up. But I can't remember where the inn is. Huh. I keep doing that. I keep I keep mixing up the locations and so on. And my words. I keep messing my words. I think it's the pub, actually. Pub or inn. One or the other. Inns here anyway, so let's see. Oh, there's a relic shop here as well. Let's see if they've got anything. They've got a few things, but nothing I really want. Upstairs. To the inn. Yes, this is exactly it.
<laughs> okay, so I'm sticking my identity, my dear. Give it up. Okay, I'm actually going to leave off here, because uh, the next part can get a little long-winded. So, the uh, next part will be back into Figaro Castle, so until then, Savory signing out. Uh, peace.